Every summer, the Peanut Gallery Players offers young, budding actors an opportunity to gain experience producing and performing in a stage production. This year, the production of Choice is Hello, Dolly, the Tony Award-winning musical created in 1964. The nonprofit organization was founded by artistic director Stacy White Cleveland in 2008 and is geared toward young people ages 6 to 18. It is huge. It is um, probably, not probably, it is the biggest ensemble show we've done to date because these kids that, you're, that you've been working with, and I don't mean in numbers, I mean that they are in so many numbers. It's such a, an ensemble work. Instead of just being, you know, scene work, scene work, they come in maybe for the opening of Act One and the closing of Act One. We'll see them somewhere in Act Two. They're literally in every other song. Of the 12, 11 numbers in the show, 11, 12 numbers, um, nine of them are, are ensemble pieces. Auditions took place in mid-June and the cast of 60 had six weeks to rehearse for the production. Katie Lane Waters of Rochester Hills landed the lead role of Dolly Gallagher Levi. The role originated by Carol Channing on Broadway and by Barbara Streisand in the 1969 film. I have watched every version of this show that I possibly could, doing as much research as I could on this character. It's such an iconic role, and I'm su it's such an honor to get to do it, so I wanted to make sure I did it justice. So lots of research. <laughs> Who did it the best? Oh, I don't know. They're all so incredible in different ways. But I think Carol Channing, the original, is just, no one can do it as good as Carol. Ian Wynarski has been with the Peanut Gallery players for eight seasons. Ian plays Horace Vandergelder, the wealthy bachelor who is the target of Dolly's matchmaking attempts. What was your reaction when you were told that you had landed this part? I was very excited. This was like the biggest role that I've had here, and it's really exciting to have it. How many years has this been for you? Uh, I've been doing PGP for eight years. This is my fifth summer show. And why do you keep coming back? Well, it's really fun. The people, I've made a lot of friends here, and I always, always have fun doing this. The large ensemble cast performs nine elaborate musical numbers throughout the show and is made up of young actors representing numerous communities in the Metro Detroit area. Many of them come back to Peanut Gallery players year after year. Um, the thing that keeps me coming back is just the people I've met here. The friendships I've made are great. The director keeps bringing me back every year for more fun shenanigans. <laughs> it's really, I'm in a lot of like the ensemble numbers, which have a lot of dancing in them. So it's really fun because I'm a dancer in the um, Michigan Ballet Theater and uh, Rochester School of Dance competition team. And then also I have a lot of friends, um, so I like to see them. And it's also just really fun to do shows for me because my mom and dad are both in acting too. Well, it's really fun because this production's like really funny and like I'll just be watching part of the scenes in the audience and I'll start cracking up. And it's not like I'm really close with like one person because I'm friends with like everyone here. It's definitely been an experience. <laughs> um, it's been really fun. A lot of the people that we're working with we're really close with. So it's been really fun to like get to work with like all my close friends on the show. So Yeah, I would say it's definitely super fun because um, we're all super close, like she said. And it's like a family almost, so like we're all best friends. And it's super fun to just hang out with them, even if we are doing all the work. It's super fun to like hang out. It's hard work memorizing all the lines, doing the songs, coming to the rehearsals, but it really pays off when you're just on stage with an audience. And I've made so many friends here and it's just really paid off. I'm having a lot of fun. I think it's a great show and the ensemble and, uh, the, and the casting was great. And uh, I think just all of it was put so well together and I think that this is, was a great production. I'm really a theater junkie. I like bop around everywhere. So honestly, just like they make it like so fun and professional here and like just the ability to kind of like do something that like a lot of people don't really get to do and you get to like be different people and do different things. It's like like have you ever been in the 1800s? <laughs> like we actually like kind of get to do that and like just amazing experiences like that. It's a really nice experience just to teach me about theater and how it works and the process of putting on a show. Um, it's really cool, but it's a little bit chaotic with costumes and adding in set pieces and finally learning where everything is. Compared to all of the other ones that I've been in, this has a lot more dancing. We have a lot more ensemble numbers, 
so it's a little hectic and a little crazy, but it's actually a lot of fun, and it's I think it's helped us bond even more. The show is very near and dear to my heart. I worked with a stage manager that toured with Carol Channing years ago. I have Carol Channing's autograph when I was in New York. I'd broken my arm and she signed my cast. My mother, who's passed away, made most of these costumes that you see. Um, so we, we're re it's very near and dear to my heart. And the production number, the Hello Dolly production number in the second act, it's gonna blow the roof off this place. It's iconically one of the largest production numbers ever in musical theater history. The curtain goes up on Hello Dolly on Thursday, August 1st at 7 p.m. at Meadowbrook Theater. You can also catch a performance on Friday, August 2nd at 7 p.m. and a matinee on Saturday, August 3rd at 2 p.m. For ticket information, visit peanutgalleryplayers.org. From Meadowbrook Theater in Rochester, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.